This is the 1999 iMac G3. It looks almost like the Bondi Blue model that came before it, but this one I have is just a little faster. It's running Mac OS 9.2, which is a thick OS. It has a 6 gig hard drive, 64 megs of RAM, and a 6 meg ATI range. It also has a 333 MHz power PC processor. Look at that boot time. Anyhow, it runs Nanosaur. That's all that matters. And it runs Unreal. The FPS actually aren't that good, considering this has a dedicated card. So let's load Quake 3. Quake 3 basically crashed and is a lost cause. I think we've killed the Mac. Okay. Well, that doesn't look good. That light's going amber, and it won't wake up. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to go to the Apple Store. Just kidding. That's not gonna work. They, they won't even touch it. So, we are going to open up this thing and see if we can fix it since Quake 3 was basically equivalent to trying to run Crisis back then. Okay, so we're going to unscrew the weird dual link VGA cable and a few other screws here and there. Jeez, those are tight screws. Once you get those out, the board just pops out. Wow, this is actually user-friendly Apple design. That's a first. So we have to replace the CMOS battery, as the old one is dead. And then I loaded 256 megs of RAM into it instead of the existing 64 megs. I also tapped this button on the motherboard and held it for 15 seconds. This resets the PMU. Once this was done... It'll fix the problem, hopefully. Bam, we can see Happy Mac Man.
the startup time actually seems slightly shorter too. And what do you know, poopity scoop? Quake 3 is running. It doesn't exactly... It doesn't exactly run smoothly, but it is at least playable. FPS is all over the place. Okay, and then I decided to also try Unreal Tournament, which I couldn't even start before. Wow, this actually runs really good. We're getting like 30 FPS plus. Some spikes here and there. Oddly enough, Unreal now runs a lot better, but it doesn't run nearly as good as Unreal Tournament. Even though it's older. Bugdom is running smoothly on this system, but has some dips to the 15s. Emulation is doable on this machine. Decent frame mate rates. Emulation is doable on this machine. Decent frame rates can be achieved on Genesis and Super Nintendo emulators. N64 isn't touchable though. The goofy refresh rate of this CRT that seems to go anywhere from 75 to 165 hertz seems to confuse some emulators though. Doom runs pretty okay. And my favorite, Alone in the Dark, has the definitive version on Mac OS, so that was worth testing and it seems to run perfectly. Solid 60 plus. Spaceship Warlock also runs great. But now we have to run the 1998 Crisis Equivalent, Deus Ex. Just let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're wow. behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretend... Deus Ex actually runs. Frame rate isn't so great, though. Seeing as this is basically 1998 Crisis, though, the 10 FPS will have to do. The iMac G3 is nostalgic. It doesn't really do a lot of things. But it does run some games. Most schools probably didn't know that. But you could have been doing a 64-player LAN party of Unreal Tournament. You just upped the RAM. If you ever get a time machine, install Unreal Tournament. Deja vu. Deja vu.